to be honest, it's been our festival tour that's kind of legitimised the film because yeah. we've been going around to so many people saying, oh, it's this, this film I made when I was 18 years old uh, with, with £3,000 and people kind of have an idea of what that's going to look like in their head. But as soon as you've been at some prestigious film festivals, it kind of gives them a reason to actually, you know, put the DVD in their machine and watch it. I think at first being 18 has been a, has been a massive kind of drawback because it means that you, you're constantly kind of talked down to and you're constantly, your film is, is seen as something without commercial potential automatically. And then since it's been doing well at festivals, it's actually become the best thing about the film uh, because, it, because it's, it's a means of packaging it. People say, it, it's, it's a relationship drama, which, are very, which is a very vague term, but as soon as you say it was made by an 18-year-old, it kind of gives it that edge that makes people want to see it out of everything on the festival programme. I've often tried to get down here, right? I've often, I've heard about it, but it's, you know, things have just came up and I never managed to make it to Dublin. I heard there's all sorts of stuff going on. People are getting treated like movie stars, red carpet events, and now to be part of it, monumental. Brilliant, brilliant. Best, best time of my life. It was good to go on holidays with my mates, travel across Europe, in a van full of lads. What more could you want, like? We got to go to Poland, Holland, and best of all, Hollyhead. Some spot boy. Hollyhead, man. If I had my way, we'd have filmed the whole thing in Hollyhead. Because it's class, boats go out there, boats come in, there's pubs. Just sound place, you know? Sounds like Hollywood, but it's not. I'd like a film made about me, just about me. Um, I don't know if that would be a fitting sequel to this, but uh, you know, that'd be class, just Viper the movie, you know? Tonight we are here at the Festival Club at the church and we are welcoming Ruth McCabe for a, a, quite an informal conversation about her extensive career. I mean, the thing about cinema is it's a broad spectrum, isn't it? It's a broad scope. And obviously a lot of film festival films are deep and, and powerful, moving movies. You know, I'm not saying ours isn't. <laughs> but, you know, there's, and, and there's, a, there's a broad scope for movies. And just because it's cinema, I mean, the thing is with comedies, right, it's hard to make people laugh. It's not an easy thing to do. You know, I mean, comedies are tough, tough not to crack, you know. So... So I think, why not? Why shouldn't there be, uh, you know, a wild comedy amongst amongst all the serious documentaries or, or serious issues sort of films?